400 degrees. It's time to quench. Here's the puddles, all made ready for smashing and turning into nice stones. Hopefully, you can see there's some grazing on them. It's a bit difficult to get on video, so they should break up nice and easily. And then we can refire them, and try and get some interesting bits and bobs out of it. Right. Let's have a smashing time. That seemed to do the job quite easily. Lovely. Keep it in the bag, doesn't go everywhere. And uh, now we'll put that into one pot. Carry on, do them all. Last one. So there they all are. Hopefully we'll get some realistic 
interesting pebbles out of that. And they're going to go into a, a later project. But uh, happy with how that's turned out. That'll get fired overnight tonight, and then we'll have a look in the morning. So it's that time again. Let's open up and see how many are touching. Oh. None. Cool. Some of them are cracking. We're happy with that. It's still a little bit warm. I'll just leave the lid up to let them cool off completely and then clean them up. finished all our puddles and we're really pleased with how they've turned out hopefully they look like pebbles that was the idea now some of these we'll use as they are especially the little ones in our next project uh, but some of them like the bigger ones the idea was that these will actually be put in a corner or against an edge just to give a bit more reality on the piece not just all the cabs in the middle so we're going to need to cut a couple of these up um, just maybe in half to put down the edge and to do that we're just going to put a straight score across the back give them a tap and uh, I'm going to use my trusty little hammer it's got a little ball nose jeweler's hammer which is good for the, the tap underneath do you like me handle <laughs> dragon so it's literally just a matter of a straight score across the back like that a little get that score to go sometimes it's easier to put it into your palm that felt like that went and then just a pair of running pliers should take it so there you go we can now use those on the edge of the piece and also because of the layers inside when it's on the edge and we're looking at the piece once it's cold worked we'll have a interesting layout so yep very happy with those they're going into another project this was part of a ebook um, so to protect their copyright I shall not go into um, foreign schedules because that's all part of their their copyright and uh, I respect that fully but it does show you a way to make puddles um, that can be used I mean these could be pendants jewelry pendants even depending on what colors you were using um, I've made them for a Shores and Streams project which uh, you may or may not see because I might be giving too much away but uh, enjoyed making those and I hope you do I want to make some red and white ones which I'm then going to put into a, a bowl so thank you for watching as ever and uh, stay safe everybody enjoy your fusing